so I'm going to Switzerland for holiday. We live in Mannheim and it's very close anyway. Plus, German boyfriend has a cousin who lives in Luzern, one of the most beautiful cities in Switzerland. Also, it's carnival time and Luzern is like one of the coolest places to celebrate it in Europe. So I'm very excited because it's gonna be fun. Um, it was actually not that fun at the beginning. <laughs> our first train was delayed for an hour, which is pretty common in Germany. Therefore, we missed our next connection and instead of driving for three and a half hour, it took us six hours to get to Switzerland. The sad part was that I bought some fried rice, but instead of enjoying my warm fried rice on the train, I need to eat my freezing fried rice on a very cold platform. No fried rice deserves to be eaten like that. So after some hip cups, we arrived to Luzern. Look how beautiful it is. The city is already in party mode and there was music and confetti everywhere. But we need to go home first. My boyfriend Anne already set up the inflatable mattress on her living room and this is where we're going to sleep in the next 6 days. I'm super excited for tomorrow and hopefully everything will go right this time. We are in Switzerland! We are going up to the mountain today. This mountain! And if you can see over there, that's the boat that's gonna drive us to another part so we can get up to the mountain. I have spent the whole day packing my clothes because apparently the clothes that I bring over here is not warm enough to be on top of the mountain. So I need to buy new shoes. <laughs> that cost me 80 euros with this cow. For transportation, we bought a tail pass which cost us 120 euros per person, only for two days. With this ticket, we can travel around central Switzerland with any public transportation like train, boat, cable car. It is expensive, but it's gonna cost us double the price without the tail pass, so it's still a good deal. So I just got out of the boat and now we are going to a train. But it's not a normal train, it's the train that goes like this, up to the mountain. I feel like Swiss people is pretty friendly when it comes to service or even when you walk on the street and accidentally have eye contact with someone, they would look at you, smile and then say hi to you. I don't think that has ever happened to me in Germany. Another example, when we want to get into this train, we need to show the ticket guy our IDs. And he noticed that one of the customers has a birthday today, so he tells her that her ticket is completely free and then some employee gather around her and sing her happy birthday. How sweet is that? We arrived at the end of the station. The name of the mountain is Rigis. Rigis? Rigis. Riggy, <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm a burrito now. I'm packed in several layers of clothing and I'm a bit suffocated. This is my first time being in such high and cold mountain like this, so there's a lot to learn. First of all, since we are above the clouds, the sun is pretty intense. It's not hot at all, but it makes your eyes pretty uncomfortable. That's why you need to wear sunglasses, which German boyfriend forgot to bring. Lucky for him, he is not nearsighted like me, so he can just grab any random sunglasses at the store anyway. I thought we would need to pay for a lot of money because it's Switzerland and it's on the top of the mountain. But surprisingly, they didn't try to rip us off. The cheapest option was 20 euros and it was not even that bad. So we grab one and we go on our way. Another thing is that even though it's freezing up here, you need to have sunscreen, otherwise you will have sunburn. I never thought about it until I see German boyfriend started to turn to a lobster. Number three, snow could be slippery and pretty dangerous. I barely see snow in Germany, so I didn't know that it could turn to be deadly. And the reason why we go down by foot and not the train anymore is because my partner is German, he likes to walk and he likes to risk my life like this. Okay, it was a bit dramatic. And after a while, we found a spot where we can look down and see a big chunk of Switzerland, so it was kind of worth it. It's really incredible to see Switzerland from the top of a mountain. Over there is Luzern, and it's just as small as this. And then compared to the rest of the flatland, it's nothing. My brain cannot comprehend that. My brain cannot comprehend that such a big city in Luzern is now that small, and then I can see several other big city at the same time like this. When we arrive at the next stop, we can choose between going down by train or by cable car. I get the cable car because I thought I could see like 
surrounding things around. But turned out we were squeezed in in the middle with 30 more people and I was short so I barely see anything. We got to the boat and off we go back to Lutzen. By the way, it's still carnival. It's already carnival. So the whole city turned into a big party place. There is music everywhere and people walking and dancing around in awesome costume. But I cannot party for too long because we need to go home to eat and also to relax a bit so that we can keep traveling for the next day. So I'm at a supermarket now because apparently it's just too expensive to eat out in Switzerland. That's why we decided to buy food and then just go home and cook like normally. We have a kitchen at home so it's a perfect plan. And can I just say how expensive is Switzerland? I feel like everything is two times more expensive than Germany. And Germany is already quite expensive for me. I got one kilogram of rice at the Vietnamese supermarket in Luzern and it was 5 euros I think. It's in, in Germany, this will cost me 2 euros or a little bit more. But okay, at least we have rice. We don't have a rice cooker here, so I'm trying to cook rice in this part. I'm not sure it will be successful, but we'll have to try. So I found kale in the supermarket over here. Also, they have frozen shrimp. Therefore, I will cook some quick soup now with kale and shrimp and uh, eat them with rice. That would be my dinner. The rice was not that successful though. Turned out making rice without the rice cooker is extremely hard. Although there is no water left in the pot, the rice is still hard inside. So I had to add more water and then I start cooking and it turned to be this mushy mushy kind of thing. And at the end it gets soft but it tastes very weird. But at least I have rice now. So this is my dinner. Kale soup, morning glory salad and rice. My boyfriend and his cousin already had bread for dinner but they also made some pudding so that we can have some for dessert. Traveling with me is a bit difficult because I need to eat what I like in order to function and having bread every day is definitely not it. German boyfriend is doing research for tomorrow. It's never my job to do that and I never want to do it anyway. So I'm going to sleep now. See you tomorrow. Good morning! It's another new day and today we're going up to another mountain. I mean it's Switzerland. You have to visit mountains when you visit Switzerland. Today we are driving with a train to another city called Engelberg. It's surrounded by mountains there. And from there we will catch cable cars to go up to the top. The mountain we visit today is two times higher than the one we saw yesterday. The Riges one. I mean Gigi Rige. That is a hard word. And since it's taller, there is more snow up there and as you can see, lots of people come here for skiing. I am very curious, how does it look like up there? It's beautiful, but I have a little bit trouble breathing, I think because of the high attitude. Also, when you walk fast here, you get tired very, very quick. I didn't do much, but I feel like I've been running 500 kilometers or something. Let's go, let's go. Do you see how thick the snow is? It's as tall as me. <laughs> When I saw this on TV, I really thought that it has to be freaking cold so that the snow can be snow like this all the time. But actually it's not cold at all. It feels like 5 degrees. I don't know what is the science of it. I thought the water has to be minus, like below 0 degree to be freezing. But here, it's absolutely not below 0. I was completely wrong. I'm so sorry. The wind starts blowing and I couldn't feel my face anymore. It was freezing. How could people even ski here? Personally, I find skiing very dangerous. What if you just fell down and then you start rolling down from top of the mountain and then you break a neck or something? I will never try it and I hope my loved ones would never try it. In some area in this mountain, under the snow is not rock but ice instead. 
Those are the eyes that was formed thousands of years ago, and they are super super thick. There's actually a glacier ice cave here where you can walk through a tunnel to see how the eyes look like from the inside. Let me do a trick for you. Wow. Be careful, be careful. I am careful. I'm always careful. Ooh, okay. I think we had enough of mountain for this trip. Which is good because our ticket only covered two days anyway. Tomorrow we're going to stay at Luzern only and enjoy the carnival. Ah, we need to have a big meal today so that I have enough energy for the next day. Good morning! Today is carnival day. I mean, it's been carnival for some days already, but today is the main event. We paid 20 franken, which is roughly 20 euros, and we can go by any bus around the city Luzern from the day of the carnival until the end, so it's like 6 days in total. I am dressing up as a ladybug and my boyfriend is a sloth. So how do people celebrate carnival here? Basically, you dress up as anything you like and I must say a lot of people spend a lot of effort on their costume, which is super cool. There are many music groups at the city center with members ranging from 3 people to 50 people. They walk around the city playing music loudly and you can just stood there, enjoy the music and dance with them. I love this festival. It's very colorful, everybody is super friendly here. They high-five you on the street, they dance with you, they throw confetti at you and they compliment your outfit. Well, not my outfit in particular, but yeah, in general. Also, you can have pretty good street food here. For example, that is Switzerland raclette, I think. They just melt a big chunk of cheese and then put it on a bread. It was 8 euros, I think, and it was super yummy. That's what my boyfriend said. I'm lactose intolerant. Can't even imagine what would happen if I eat that. You can also make your own raclette on the street because nobody cares. Swiss sausage. <laughs> It's good. There is a big parade in the afternoon with all of the group walking along with each other and play music. But as you can see, I didn't have a very good view. So after a while, I gave up and then I go to my favorite place in Luzern to chill out. The Concy Park. It's located on top of a hill and from there you can see a big chunk of Luzern as well as the beautiful lake. We sat there for a while, enjoy the sunset, and I think it's a perfect way to end our day. See you tomorrow! Good morning, it's our last holiday in Switzerland. Tomorrow we're driving back already and I'm already sad. For breakfast, I'm making glass noodle salad, a recipe that I learned when I was traveling in Thailand. As a German, my boyfriend finds it mind-blowing that I can have something hot, sour, spicy or salty in the morning. He said he would have severe stomachache if he eat like that. Well, as a Vietnamese, I have stomachache if I eat something sweet for breakfast. So there goes bread and jams. Yes, my breakfast takes a lot of time. But in my defense, when I was in Vietnam, I don't have breakfast at home. I go to a restaurant and pay less than 1 euros for a very good, healthy breakfast. So today, I don't think we will go to the Fasnacht in the morning anymore. Because it was too crowded. And we had enough yeah, from yesterday. Therefore, we decided to have a small trekking trip on the mountain. I'm not sure if I can do it. Because... My leg is very, very tired after days of walking and walking, but we'll see. Our first step of the day is the Glacier Garden in Luzern. They have a very cool labyrinth that I want to visit. It's super, super amazing and I get lost so often, but it was very fun. Next to the Glacier Garden is the Lion Monument, one of the most famous spots of Luzern. It is the place in memorial to the Swiss guards that lost their lives during the French Revolution in Paris. The lion looks like he's sleeping, but actually he's dying. There's a bone sticking out of his body and he's in pain. It's actually a very sad image, but powerful and touching at the same time. We spend the rest of the day in the garden and then walk around the city a bit. This country is beautiful. Can you imagine there are people who actually live here and wake up with this view every day? Blows my mind. 
Before I end the video, here's a personal note for anyone who's watching. I have been making content for 2 years already, but mostly I make short form video. When I decided to start making long form video on YouTube, I was really worried that nobody would even watch it. Therefore, I am very overwhelmed and grateful with your support so far. I'm learning every day and trying to improve myself so that I can make better content. Thank you very very much. You guys are the best.